ABC pyro is called ABC because it is mixed together in three parts. Complicated, you think? Well, not even. It is important to know, though, that there are several versions of ABC, and I think the version I present here is the most modern, certainly the most practical, and it gives very nice resolution in deep shadows. I would recommend the ABC uh, parts be made in stock, considering all of which have a virtually forever shelf life, and then mixed together in use amounts as needed. So here's our formula as published by Uncle Ansel through Henry Gilpin. This is also the same formula that Michael Smith uses. The A portion of our formula is the active developing agent, pyrogallic acid, aka pyro, at 60 grams combined with potassium bromide at 1.1 grams plus sodium bisulfite, that's 10 grams, to make one liter of stock. Watch out because pyro is a staining agent, so take care as you pour it, not to get its dust on things. Once wet, it will stain everything a dark brown. Many times the pyro clumps inside its container, so I recommend tapping the sides of the container with a hammer to loosen things. Of course, keep the container closed as you do this. Here's how the pyro will look when you begin to mix. For a discussion on preservatives, restrainers, etc., see my Amidol YouTube presentations. Likewise, for a discussion on sodium bisulfite, versus sodium metabisulfite, or even sodium sulfite, all of which can actually be used here. Again, see my Amidol presentations. If indeed you wanted to use sodium metabisulfite instead of sodium bisulfite, use 9 grams. Unlike PMK, it does not matter in ABC what order you add and mix your constituents for stock. Likewise, no special temperatures here are needed. The B portion is simply sodium sulfite at 105 grams combined with water to make one liter. The C portion is simply sodium carbonate that's at 80 grams with water to make one liter. Okay, so much for the stock. Best to store all in brown bottles. Green is the next best, but you know clear is okay. Remember the shelf life on these is just years. Now to make it a working solution. To 500 milliliters of water, add 75 milliliters of B, and then C. Agitate for a few seconds. Then add your 75 milliliters of active ingredient A. At this point, you have enough solution and time to develop two negatives singly, that is, one at a time. As soon as you add A, begin your developing. Now, 75 milliliters is for average contrast. If you need more contrast, you can either 1. Develop your negatives longer, 2. Vary your agitation times, 3. Add more A to your working mix, you could say try 100 milliliters, or combine any of 1, 2, or 3. Myself, for consistency's sake, I simply develop longer and vary agitation, inspecting the negative as I go. This will get you about one to one and a half grades of paper contrast increase, which is enough virtually for any situation. Now more about inspection later.